Hi, I'm Phil Hearn, and today's podcast, I'm looking at the question, do I need to be online in market research? Join me today to discuss some of the issues and check out that you really are properly online. Hi, I'm Phil Hearn, and in today's podcast, Do I Need to Be Online?, I'm going to look at the subject a little bit more depth than just saying, am I online? Well, of course you're online. Most people in in offices these days are online. But are you really online? That's the question I really want you to ask yourself today. And yes, you may be doing a high percentage of your data collection now online. You may be producing some results from that. Do you then send the tables out or the reports out in PowerPoint? In my view, you're not properly online, even though you might email that PowerPoint report or even have that PowerPoint report sitting in a repository somewhere that people can uh, access and download. So let's look at what being online fully means and, of course, why we need to be fully online. So let's look at why, first of all. Well, in some ways it's obvious, but there's some hidden things, I think, that need to be considered and why market research needs to keep going through a change that it started, but I don't think it's finished. Clearly doing things online is cheaper and it's faster. Certainly for data collection, that's true. We can collect interviews more cheaply online generally and they're quicker. But is the delivery of the data that we then collect, does that get quicker? And does that look like a bottleneck to clients? Because if it is, we need to remove that bottleneck and find ways of delivering that quickly and cheaply, just like we've managed to collect data quickly and cheaply. And of course, it's where it's at, if you like, in the sense that clients now and everybody in business expects to be able to get their hands on their data whenever they want to, wherever they are, on their phone if they're perhaps sitting at an airport or whatever it might be, or sitting on a train, Wherever they are, you should have access to your data and that's becoming the norm. And we're used to that in our personal lives. We're used to looking for information online, whether it be the times of trains, whether it be to buy something, to check the price of something. Everything now is online. There's no reason why business data and market research data shouldn't be online as well. And indeed, much business data is um, Banking, for example, is all online now. We hardly do anything on paper anymore in in most parts of the world. So market research needs to be able to deliver online. And I don't think it does it very well at the moment. The products that are out there for delivering data online are either ridiculously expensive or they're more geared to uh, the BI market, the business information market, where they're really more used to dealing with data that's huge numbers of records, uh, like transactions, um, but with very small, simple data, uh, fields that have perhaps single answers or numeric values in there. Market research data isn't like that. Market research data tends to be relatively small numbers of records, but a lot of complex fields. We have multiple response questions, and we have requirements such as producing top two box analysis, net promoter scores and things like that. Things that other industries don't do quite as much as we do in market research day to day. So when I ask the question, do I need to be online? I think it's a little bit wider than just collecting our data and being fast, cheap and efficient on that side. It's also about going a lot further than that and being able to deliver it efficiently online. And that's not just meaning that we can perhaps show some figures uh, that would be in PowerPoint normally in a static document online so that people can access them. That's preferable, but it's not a big step. It means going further than that. It means being able to provide that data in a dashboard so that people can drill down into that data. They can filter that data and get the information they want out of it at any time, whether that's in a meeting, on the go, or sitting at their desk so that they can make take more value from the data that you're providing and yes that's really an attraction of this whole thing that with better delivery of data we can be more valuable as as suppliers of a service called market research 
So I think this is really something that we've got to get to grips with. Now, as a company, MRDC has, has, has linked its software with the CYS platform, which we think is a first class platform at a sensible price and probably one of the first products at a sensible price uh, for putting any market research survey online, whether it be a big tracking survey, a small customer feedback survey or an ad hoc survey. It offers you the ability to put that data online so clients can delve into it, do more detailed analysis themselves, see that in easy to understand graphical ways as charts, infographics or as figures so that they can get more from their data at the click of a button whenever and wherever they want to. And that's got to be the goal of market research to do that and have it available at that price. So many bits of software out there either cost tens of thousands a year to link into or they have a project cost of maybe three, four thousand US dollars per project. That sort of budget is just not available to people who are running a small ad hoc project in market research. We really need tools now that come in at a price that lets you have high quality online delivery of data so that people can use that data even for the smallest projects. It goes further than that though, do I need when in my question of do I need to be online? I think I think being online means that everything that you want at your fingertips is available. We've got used to it in let's say the travel industry, in banking, booking hotels, all those sorts of things. All the information I want to carry out what it is I want to do as an individual is now available at my fingertips. So I can click around, I can find the best dates, the best prices, whatever it might be, myself doing things online. And we need to do the same with market research data. And that means that we've got to put other business data alongside market research data, and it's got to be easy to do. So if a client gets more value from their market research by showing sales data, uh, transactional data, advertising spend, other KPIs that they have, um, targets that they have, net promoter scores that they're achieving with their different services or products. If they can put that data alongside their market research data, our market research data as an industry instantly becomes more valuable and we need tools that can do that. So my definition of online goes a lot further. It's the ability to collect it online, which is becoming reasonably established in most parts of the world, but not all. And I think that needs to continue in the areas where there isn't a, 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 a sufficient percentage of people doing online research. That needs to keep moving forward and moving to a higher percentage. We need to be able to manage other data that's available so that it can be put along the side our survey data or data from more than one survey as well. So that's data from two or three different types of survey can be aggregated and shown in the same display on a slide or on a page on a web page in a dashboard. And we need to be able to uh, manage that easily and at a sensible price. And we also need to be able to do a bit more I think sometimes with our online surveys that we need to be able to draw information from databases, for example, and feed data back. If there's customer data, for example, back to a database so that research becomes part of a CRM process, for example, again, giving customers a bit more than they already have. And I think we need to redefine tracking studies a little bit. Tracking studies tended in the past have been to the one type of survey that have gone into online dashboards, but I think that needs to go a step further. I think we should be able to easily collect small, survey, small surveys as tracking studies, perhaps only asking four or five questions even, and feeding that into and alongside other surveys and other business data to give clients a really true picture of their business whenever they want it. I think going online and do I need to be online? Well, the answer is yes, but it actually it's the tip of the iceberg that we've dealt with so far in market research efficiently. We need to go a bit further 
and really make our business fully online. And that means integrating data, outputting data where people want it and how they want it, and delivering results from that data easily. So I think there's a long way to go and we need to perhaps catch up with some other businesses out there that are doing this already. I'd like to see that change. I think MRDC is in a position to help that change and we think it can be done at a sensible price that means that you can provide a better service and I hope win more business as a result of that because that's what we're looking to do. We're trying to win as much business as we can and I really don't want market research business to get taken away by other businesses on the periphery of market research um, just because they can deliver what market research can't deliver. So let's look at trying to grow that and broadening what we offer as, as a business and being truly online. So that's the end of my podcast. I want you to consider whether you really are online, whether you can do and deliver whatever your clients want with the data. I think it's a step, big step sometimes, and it's a step forward, but it's one that needs to be taken sooner rather than later. Thanks for joining me, and I hope to join you in a future podcast. Thank you.